Well, today is my first day in my new career as a product designer. Should be all right, because I know most of the people in the office because I interned at the same company last summer. For those of you who don't know me, I used to be in the commercial real estate industry in New York City for about four years, and I decided to quit my job and completely change my career into an industry that is, I would say, entirely irrelevant. I just graduated from the master program in human centered design and engineering at UW, and I'm starting my new job as a product designer in tech as a 31 year old. But before I go into the office, I have something I really want to show you. I know it's been about, what, five months since I last uploaded on YouTube? I'm officially a homeowner. We bought this house a few months ago. It's from the 1970s, but fully renovated by our seller. The interior is not fully done yet, but I would say 80-90% there. So when it's fully done, I'll probably do a room tour video, but today I just want to give you a quick preview. The living room is definitely the selling point. Pretty high ceiling, very nice kitchen island. I really like the marble here. I picked up this very cool dining table from a consignment store for only $500. We also have this very amazing backyard. We're both first time house owners, uh, my husband and I. So there was definitely a lot of stuff to learn, like how to set up your sprinkler system or maintain your trees and stuff. I can quickly show you. Okay, I really need to get to work, but before I do that, let me run my roller rock. Now that we have a house that's over 2,000 square feet, a lot of people ask me how we maintain it, how do we keep it clean. That's why we got a robot cleaner that both vacuums and mops. So the first time we set it up, it already mapped our entire house. It will take a few hours to clean a over 2,000 square feet house, but you just leave it on and by the time you come back from work, the house will be clean. Yes, we tried it for a little bit in the morning. It, she told me about how basically the sub areas are divided. I got four small tasks already on my first day of job. I guess this is the startup style. I'll talk a little bit more about what the day-to-day -day and cross-functional collaboration look like for product designers in the next part of the video. Work prioritization meetings usually happen on Monday or Tuesday. On Monday, all product designers sit together with PMs to talk about what we're working on, and based on our bandwidth, we'll pick up new projects scoped by our PM partners. On Tuesday, there's another meeting where PMs, product designers, and engineers are all present, and we go through task by task in details. We clap a lot to celebrate the small wins.
because our company product is very technical, I spend a whole day trying to understand some data science terminology and methodology. I do have a tendency of diving really deep and being trapped in a rabbit hole, um, but eventually it will pay off. It has always paid off for me in the past in my prior jobs. I have vivid memories of my statistics class in college, probably sophomore year. I finished number one in that class, so at least I'm not intimidated by data science. You again, pretty girl. Thank you. <laughs> oh, they're so fancy. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Do you want to Most of the time you'll be spending, will be designing your own inside parts. Um, so we have our larger frames here and our smaller frames here. You can do two small frames or you can do uh, one large one. Mm -hmm. And we have a bunch of different examples and templates here too. If you want to pass out some different... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the platform. Get some inspiration Apple. going, you can look... <laughs> Maybe a circle is challenging. <laughs> <laughs> 